Today the moon is in Scorpio, which is often associated with such deep feelings. Those feelings tend to overwhelm us. And when we feel overwhelmed by feelings, it's almost as if we are afraid of big feelings. And honestly, there's a whole huge consumer market on being afraid of big feelings. You know, all the times that we drink to drown our sorrows, well, those suckers learn to swim. There are so many ways that humans try and avoid big, scary feelings, but there's a really cool energy today that even though the moon is in Scorpio, so it's kind of bringing up deep feelings, feelings from deep below, um, it's like realizing that anything that we're going through is just the tip of the iceberg. So the moon in Scorpio brings our awareness to the bottom of the iceberg from deep below, okay? But then today, the moon is in the exact same spot as Venus, which means there's going to be a lot of sweetness and softness around how receptive we are towards our feelings or the feelings of other people. There's going to be an easier way of being able to say, you know what, I love myself, I love my feelings, and being able to hold space with compassion allows those feelings to surface in a way that we can look at them, we can acknowledge them, and we can possibly heal them. And on that note, because the moon is in a really harmonious angle with Saturn, um, we are much more willing on an emotional level to establish some sort of a new pattern or a new routine or a new standard when it comes to allowing our emotions to surface so that we can work on them instead of trying to drown them, right? And then the moon also makes a really harmonious relationship to Mars today. Mars is the planet of action. All of these planets are in water signs, which is like, okay, let's go with the flow. So the nature of the action that we're going to be taking right now, because Mars is in Cancer, is going to be holding space for our emotions with lots of compassion, lots of patience, lots of nurturing energy. Um, and really interestingly, what a contrasting card, today's card is the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is like doing things by the book, maybe following the rules, maybe learning as much as we can. But honestly, it's through learning about astrology that I came to know more about myself. And that actually led me to a journey of learning about psychology. So King of Swords could actually indicate that although we don't want to be too strict, we don't want to be too harsh when it comes to our emotions when they come up. Uh, the King of Swords says, you know what, learn about yourself, learn about how to uh, bring yourself to a place of emotional regulation. Those strategies are awesome. We all need to learn more of those, right? Um, instead of drowning or running away from our emotions, holding space with compassion and learning how. And then the King of Swords is also about being a person of your word. So making sure that there is dignity, honor, and respect within your headspace. You can't go on a mental health journey and at the same time beat yourself up inside of your head. Um, those two just don't work well together, right? So any mental health journey also has to have a solid foundation of being really, really respectful towards yourself. <laughs> and then that, of course, extends towards other people. Anyway, some really interesting deep thoughts. We are in the middle of a grand water trine with the moon, Mars, Saturn, and Venus all working together to create this harmonious relationship in which we have the opportunity to respond to our emotions differently. And by responding to our emotions differently, we open up new possibilities in our lives in which we are not afraid of ourselves. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. Come back every day for your daily tarot and astrology, and I will see you tomorrow.